time for sexy slow-mos. Boom! <laughs> Hello, beautiful, and welcome to makeup. Oh, it has been such long time since Pilof has been here, and she's absolutely missed it. But that is okay because university studies are over, and that just means that Pilof has all of the free time to be chaotic. So a bit ago, Pilof asked if anyone would like to see any specific makeup looks, and someone commented, "Pilof naturally wants to be flamingo, but does Pilof want to be any other bird or any other kind of animal?" So Pilof has decided that today she naturally wants to be a peacock. So let's go! So for today's idea, I decided that once again, I want to eliminate my brows. Why? Because it is just so much fun! Really, at this point, I should just shave them all off. Peel off is lost mind. Where is my mirror? There is my mirror. Excellent. So we are just going to comb these little baby cases up. Once again, I'm just going for the good old glue baby boom powder system. I've done it in several of my videos now. And yes, I just... I don't know why, I just, I've been having a lot of fun eliminating my brows and I just, I wanted to carry it on. And I've seen like peacock eye makeup look so often that I want to do something a little bit different. But like, Pilof always wants to do something a little bit different because being the same as everyone else is boring! <laughs> Like, we are funny, but we are not like that funny. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, oh, that was... <laughs> I don't know why that got me so good. <laughs> okay, people of calmness and tranquility. Waterfalls. <laughs> it is unnecessary to laugh that much. Um, oh, oh, that was good. I hope that everyone else enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> that one brow has glue on it. Do it to the other brow. Now does this not look saucy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so breathe, peel off. Breathing mm, is good for you, is what the doctors keep telling me. Okay, so now we get some baby boom powder and try and get rid of these brows as quickly as possible before I keep wheezing on camera. And then we're just going to pat it into face. And this time, try not to stab self with one of the fake nails that I have glued to my fingers. Now this is fast! So now that we have done that step, I am looking for pencil. I have this white pencil, um, and I think I need to sharpen her because she is very blunt and looks very pink. What did I do with this last that had pink on it? Okay, I have sharpened the pencil. She is nice and she is so sharp she could cut you. So now I'm just going to try and I'm... Oh, wait. Why it not might might not work very well because baby bomb powder make pillow oh. We will make do. I'm going to request from Mr. Google images of a peacock face. Where are you, Mr. Google? Peacock. Excellent. Okay, so okay. I can I can do this. Okay, yes. Pilaf is makeup magician. So Pilaf Pilaf can definitely do this. Okay, I'm going to outline where I want my my lines and stuffs to be. Oh yes, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, I like the little asymmetrical moment we are going for. Hello, asymmetry. Okay, and then I have to figure out how to do the eyeball now. Okay, so I think I'm going to make my actual like socket, the pupil of the peacock. And then if that is that, then that that means that this section, oh wait, oh, wait. Outline socket, peel off. This is your socket. And the best thing about this kind of makeup look is like, we don't really have to worry about contouring our nose because like, our nose is going to be a beak. So now that our lines are marked out, I am just going to start painting my face. I'm going to start with the white sections because like those sections are the most definite. I want 
to do my eyeballs last. I want to do the actual like lids of my balls last because I feel as though that is going to be the most difficult. And um, I, I, yeah, I do not trust self. So we are just going to like paint and hope that this all works out. Okay, this is going to be a very time consuming makeup look, which like at this point, I don't know if this idea is technically classified as a makeup look, but I do not care because I am having fun. I did the blocking of left brow so good today. Oh, left brow mother is so pleased with you. You did such good job, baby cakes. Right brow, learn for next time. Use left eyebrow as an example. Now that we have wiped down, I am going to go in with the blue. So I am just going to go in with a dark blue first and then put in some definitions with some lighter blue later. I feel as though that is the best way to do this look, but at the same time, like, I don't know what I am doing. What I'm trying to do first is just like block colors, if that makes sense. So that just like, oh, that section's main color is blue. So therefore I will make it blue. And then later where I have to add like definitions of like feathers and balls of eyes and like the dark sections and like grays for the beak and stuff, I will, I will add it later. But for a moment, if main color is blue, then I'm just painting that whole section blue. If main color is orange, which like peacocks don't have orange, but like if they did, I would paint it orange. I feel as though that is sound logic. Peel off does not always have sound logic, but at the moment, that seems to be the most sound of logic that peel off possesses. Now the blue is done, we fill in brown for the sockets. This is the part where peel off is most concerned about screwing it all up. But that is okay because peel off is magician. Peel off will pull a rabbit out of the head, and the rabbit being the look and the head being my face. That was bad analogy. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, apparently pinky finger may have been out for blood though on my cheek. What is that? It looks like puncture wound. Okay, and then we just paint the bottom part of eye socket. And then once eye socket on this side is drying, I'm going to put some gray on my nose for my beak that I'm eventually going to have. And then that will be most of the block colors in, so then I can just start adding some definition and just adding some of my little feathers and just adding a little bit more wow, a little bit more pizzazz to this overall look. At the moment, I understand that I look a tad bit mental, but that is all right because it will all work out later. Everyone just needs to trust peel off more than she trusts herself. And that seems to be all of the block colors done, so I can start adding, oh wait, no, I need black. Okay, excellent. Now that all of the block colors are now actually officially done, we get to wait for this to dry, and then I will start adding some definitions to everything. Peel off has this other little square, which like, I think graphic artists would call it like teal. I am going to call it if blue and green had baby. So um, if blue and green had baby, uh, we are going to add some water to it and make it nice and and wet because at the moment it is dry like my sense of humor and then I'm going to get a sponge and I'm just going to lightly dab dab over the top of the dark bluish kind of sections just to add a bit of definition. Oh that is big sponge. I should have put the little butt of the sponge onto the paint. Then I'm going to mix the blue baby hybrid into some white and then yes 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 peel off we are going to mix some white into the baby hybrid and then we will have even brighter pops of color see peel off can peel off can be professional oh yeah. oh oh look at that color oh yes i like that color that is that is nice color yes okay so then we get the bigger part of the sponge and then we put that over what we just did. Okay, oh, I am actually loving. Cool, cool. Pilof is doing such a good job. Okay, so, oh, Pilof is doing such a good job. Okay, ah, we are dropping things everywhere. We are so excited. Okay, so then I just have to start adding definition. So I think I'm going to start once, like, I'm going to let this dry kind of situation, and then I'm going to work on the white. So I'm going to try and clean up the white a bit, and then I'm going to try and make it look like feathers. 
which I don't know how that is going to go, but we are going to hope for best. We are just going to try and paint on some feathers. And we are just going to try and make them some thin baby cakes. So I'm going to start with the white, because if I mess up the white first, that makes it would be easier to fix the white even though the white is the one that's going to be colored easiest because like this is just going to be an absolute travesty if it does not work out so we are just going to try oh, that is not thin um i think i have a liner brush maybe we should just use a liner brush because that is a thin brush haha peel off has somewhat thought ahead now we just have to do that all over my face to look like feathers this is going to take such a long time There has to be an easier way to do this. Peel off his head idea. So if you're not new to this channel, you would know that Peel off gets her nails done quite often, about once a fortnight. And um, yesterday her nails decided to pop off for no reason and she did not have time to visit a salon today. So because of that, she has bought these like fake nails that you just stick on with some super glue um, from Kmart. So what I'm thinking is I have this, I, I cut the bottoms off of them so that I could like dip, I can dip the nail and it creates a little you! <gasps> Peel off! You are such a smart little cookie! And yes, now that I say that once again, I want cookies! Okay, <gasps> peel off. I am actually so impressed with myself. We have made our own little stamp out of a fake nail. Peel off is so good at this. Okay, let's see if this works on my face. Stamp, 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 stamp. stamp. Peel off is so smart. <gasps> sharp so the lines are like nice and then just like stamp off some of the excess and then stamp your face because then it creates such delightful little feathers and there are different sizes of nails so you so you can make bigger you can make bigger scales you can make lighter oh i think this is even better than the like stalking over face trick just get yourself a little nail just get yourself a little nail oh my gosh peel off peel off peel off you are a pioneer amongst people you are an absolute legend peel off is just if you could not tell peel off is very very happy with herself peel off has been stamping for the last like 20 ish minutes but and you can see the evidence of on, on her hand but at the same time i feel as though the results are coming through quite nicely i am actually so impressed with myself like people thought the peel off was big headed before baby cakes this head is inflated since then does that not look amazing peel love you are the oh, just Oh, peel off. So now the feathers are all done. I am just going to try and add some definition to my beak. So I am just going to add in some nostrils because some of the nostrils of Mr. Peacock will be up here-ish. Now that everything is done except for like the goggles, like the lit like the literal like pupils of the peacock look that we are going for, we are just going to do the rest of our face. I'm going to leave the most stressful thing to last so that that is a future peel off problem to deal with because I don't want to deal with that right now. So I I'm going to find sin stick. Oh wait, there it is. Okay, that was easy to find. So I'm just going to get sin stick and I'm going to lather her on the back of my hand and then I am just going to clean up the edges and then sin stick my whole face. Because at the moment, like this goddess, this horrific, cute little Oscar worthy moment, this is ready. Now that everything has been sin I am just going to get my Too Faced chocolate bar palette, which... 
Ooh, smells so delicious and I'm just going to get like this little like chubby little brush and I'm just going to try and like darken around the like peacock mask that I have just made you could do this with some SFX but Pilot does not know how to use SFX so instead she is going to use the makeups to give the definition of a mask the thing that I find most funny about this look is that this is actually a male peacock look it is not a female peacock look because the female peacock is brown and she is boring i want colors i want blues i want greens i want majestic now that that is all nicely buffed out we are going to have a cute little moment of like oh like i am like i'm peeling back my skin to reveal that i am actually a peacock so now that that is done we are just doing a quick little contour a quick little highlight and a quick little lip and then i'm going to go in for the stress once again just leaving that to last so that is future peel off problem to deal with because like right now peel off does not want to deal with it and she's actually quite quite nervous to try and actually do it so contour just do a fish face And then once that is done, we are going to go in with my berries palette and use, oh, uh, this brush is still pink. All of my stuff is just stained pink. No one is really surprised though. So we are just going to go in with my berries palette because I really, really, really like that highlighter. And then we will do dark face. <laughs> And then we are just going to do a lip, so with all the nice blues and whites and blacks, I think that this is already a statement, so we should do red, because we want it to be even more of a statement. That's, my eyes just went absolutely crazy, but like, what else do you expect from Pilaf? With that all on, we have no choice now. We have to face the music, I have to face putting the pupils onto the brown of the eye look that I have done, and... I am really not looking forward to this one. We are just going to paint the circles so it looks like it is an actual eyeball. This is so stressful. Okay, so I got hair clip and then I got some feathers and then I made... <laughs> Be love so smart! Oh, I actually love this look because now it is just kind of like a... Oh, I am... I am actually... I am actually a peacock under the skin. Oh, I am actually a peacock. She's actually naturally a peacock. Look at this cute little pull away look. Look, it is not really a look that you can take to the... No, if you want to go to the grocery store and look like this, do whatever you want. Peel off does not mind. Makeup is everything that you want it to be. If you want to be a peacock, be a peacock. If you want to be a flamingo, be a flamingo. If you just want to be a goddess, be a goddess. Or a god... Peel off does not mind. Peel off is... Peel off is up to you. Makeup is up to you. And that is what Peel off wants you to take away from her videos. A little bit of a giggle, a little bit of confidence, and just a little bit of chaos. So with our peacock eyes nice and painted, the feathers looking gorgeous, our little hair piece in, and our pull away looking stunning. You are done. And because Peel off is now a legitimate beauty guru on YouTube, time for sexy slow-mos. <laughs> is it for today's look i hope that you enjoyed yourselves i hope that you look like a stunning peacock goddess do not forget to go out into the world and show them how sexy you are how stunning you are how much of a masterpiece that you are and while you are out there do not forget what dear mother always say if you can't say something nice ah! <laughs> say something cruel <laughs>